Hello, welcome back. It's that time of year again. Renovations starting today. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be scarifying this, and you probably think I'm mad because it looks absolutely beautiful. Um, but it's got to be done, unfortunately, just to see us out for the rest of the year. So join us in a little bit, and I'll show you what we're going to do. So to start, we're going to be using our brand new Alet. 17 inch which we're going to use as a plane today and we're just going to scrape all the top surface off so we're down to the roots and then I'm going to go on with this Alcor VB 3800 scarifier really good machine 10 years old simplicity is its key very few parts need replacing quite a lot but they're in stock always and it's easy I can do it no problem so what we're going to do is mow first, then the scarifier, then rake it up and mow it and then top dress or seed and then top dress so let's get on with it so you can see from that to that length we're getting shorter probably going to give it another pass take it a little bit shorter then we'll get the scarifier on it Alec mowers, yeah, the engine seems to be really, really quiet. Quiet, this is brand new, but it seems to have uh, even quieter than when they've got the last one. Just up close, see how short we get. I might even knock it down a little bit more after scarifying because it's still quite long, really. Um, but We've got to do it, unfortunately. Just zoom in. I did some cuttings of some roots before, and they're really deep. Nice, big, thick, white things like pieces of string. I attribute that to the uh, Shropshire seaweed that we've been putting on all winter. Right, we're going to get the scarifier on it. Now, what we're doing is we're not going in really deep. We're not looking to like absolutely wreck the grass because it's very young, so there's not that much thatch or anything, and plenty of ryegrass doesn't really produce that much to be fair. All we're doing is getting rid of any lateral growth really, pushing that up to the top and then we can go over it and trim that up and also just aerating the roots a little bit with um, the blades. Uh, I don't know if I showed you before, I can't remember, but uh, this has got like 10 to 12 really sharp blades on it like that and they just rip through things. So I'm going to put that roughly about 5 mil into the soil. Um, in place it's probably going to go deeper because it's not totally true level but it's nothing to worry about so let's get on with it. Just done a double pass with the scarifier. <clears throat> We've got quite a lot of stuff just sitting on the surface there, you can see it. All that from just going over with some blades. It's quite incredible really. But that's just all like the probably a lot of like roots and stuff and just you know detritus, dead animals, you know, insects and stuff, all that kind of thing adds up. So we're gonna hoover that up now with the uh, what is it now? The Bosch, the Bosch Rotec. So <clears throat> let's get that done. Right, so that's all hoovered up. You can see better now that the you see all the grooves in the scarifying lines. And to be fair, it still looks probably better than most people lawns pre scarifying. Oh, looks better after. So I think that's good news for the year ahead that we've got good coverage already. Just going close, and you can see what kind of damage the scarifier has done from the pictures before. So you see those just like those little grooves. The seed will sit nicely in there. And grow all nice and uniform. But you know it's not all been plain sailing. Over the winter the sun doesn't really get over here. So we've got a bit of a bare patch here. Uh, which has looked quite a mess. 
So we're going to kind of concentrate more on here with the seed and the top dress. It's all the way around this edge because it's in the shade from all these. Uh, and in this corner here, you can see it's worn away a little bit from like turning with the mower and, and things like that. So we'll get that sorted. So let's get some. Uh, oh no, actually, I'm going to just run over it once more with a cylinder just to take off a little bit more because I still think it's a little bit long. But then we'll get seed and top dressed on. Just showing you the top dressing work that I've just done. I have been working around the front as well, so I've not uh, been taking my time. It is now 20 past five, and I think I filmed the last one at midday. So we busy around the front, top dressing the front lawn. Um, so I'm just going to leave this now for a couple of weeks, keep it well watered. Fed it a few weeks ago with um, it's an ICL product called Pro Turf, and that's kicked in now. I'm not going to feed it again because I don't want any seed coming through in a couple of weeks, in which time the other grasses will have kicked in and spurred on and end up with big holes everywhere. So I'm going to wait for the new seed to come through and then I'll feed it up and then everything can grow together. So until then, I'll see you later.